sunset bike ride. You guys, it's so beautiful out. I can't take it. Look how pretty. November, 70 degrees. So pretty. So I'm at CVS right now doing some couponing. And they have like all these inspired scents. And I thought this was interesting. They have one that's inspired by Joe Malone. So these are roller balls. They also have large sizes. So these are actually on sale for $5. Let's see, all these are $5 off, even the roller balls. So I just wanted to show this to you guys. Maybe there was like a fragrance you were interested in. New air volume. Can you guys see this? My camera's not focusing. There we go. The new air volume mascara. And I'm also thinking of getting another shade of the fresh wear because I am in love with this foundation you guys it is so good you guys so I'm getting another shade of the infallible which I had ten dollars extra bucks ten and then I had four dollars off twelve L'Oreal so it comes to 331 and now I have two dollars off a face product so it's gonna come out to a dollar thirty one so I'm basically getting this L'Oreal foundation for only a dollar so you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing um, just like a little mini tutorial on how I coupon at CVS. So it's not really hard. You just kind of have to get started with it. So your first purchase, you might have to spend a little because you have to get the extra bucks. And then after that, you'll just kind of keep earning the extra bucks. And then also you need to have the coupons in your like daily mail, I guess, like that you get in your mail. I don't know how I get them, but I do. So I always look through them and I cut out the makeup ones and then I just save them in this little wallet and I just keep them in like a little baggie. Yesterday I lost, you have to check to see when your extra bucks expire because I lost $4 yesterday, which was so frustrating. That was my fault though because I wasn't paying attention. And yeah, so that one was actually a good one. That foundation was $16. I only spent a dollar. It came out to a dollar 31. And I was so embarrassed because whenever I try and coupon at the self checkout, it never works. And they have to keep taking the coupon out. And I'm, I was like bright red because I was so embarrassed. And they had to like help me. And I was like, I'm sorry. Like I felt so bad and dumb. Um, so I went to my PO box and I picked up, I had this letter and I was like, who is this from? So a subscriber, one of you guys, Daisy R sent me a really cute note and also she sent me this little floral face mask thank you so much daisy this is so sweet i was not expecting this so what a nice surprise i'm definitely gonna wear this it's so cute i love like coordinating face masks to maybe my outfit so i think this is adorable and that was so nice of you to send that to me so thank you daisy r for that fun little surprise oh my gosh the ring light i have right now I feel like it's making my forehead look like it's so shiny, but I promise you it's not. Today, it's November 12th, so it's Nick's birthday. He is 33 today. Oh my gosh. So old. Not really, though. I know, it's not old. My mom's favorite age, she always told me, was 32. So, I always think of that. And that's actually the age she had me, so maybe it's a coincidence. <laughs> but... Um, I'm actually gonna go right now to the store probably gonna go to Lidl if you guys have heard of Lidl It's L-I-D-L. It's like the sister brother store to Aldi pick up some ingredients for Nick's birthday dinner because I want to do like a pulled pork type of thing and Some macaroni on the side. He really likes pork and sliders So I'm thinking that would be fun. So it's like five o'clock right now and I'm getting to the store now I was like so not prepared for anything. I've just been filming all day it literally could not be easier. <laughs> they have the pulled pork right here. So I'm just gonna get this one. It is actually on sale, 455. So I'm gonna get this, it's already fully cooked. Hopefully this won't be too hard to make. It seems pretty easy and also there's some cheese on it too. So yay. All right guys, so I put them away but I'll show you. I got these cocoa almonds. You guys, these are so good. But <laughs> These are amazing. They have them at Lidl, Aldi, and they also have them at Walmart. But <laughs> Lidl and Aldi have the best price. I'm warning you guys though, they're so addicting. They're so good. Um, we went through the whole bag from Aldi, so I picked these up. Got some hickory smoked bacon. This was only <laughs> this was only $2.99. They have the best prices. What are you doing? What are you doing Roma? Yeah, they have the best prices on bacon. Um, I had 
two of these brioche buns from a previous recipe, but I just got four more because I'm making those pork sliders. And then here is the pork I showed you guys at the store. You're so cute. What are you doing? What are you doing, Angel? <laughs> All right, guys, here's what I'm working with so far. I put the pork on, a little bit of butter, bacon, um, and then these. I got this from Aldi. I like the other one better, the organic one, but this is what I had in my pantry. So I'm just going to make this and use this as our little side. So it is Saturday and today I'm actually going to my high school friend Mary Kate's bridal shower. So I, what I did last night was I got a bunch of stuff. I went to TJ Maxx, Dollar Tree, um, Five Below and I had this idea of what I wanted to do for her for a bridal shower basket. So I kind of did like a Five Below, TJ Maxx, Dollar Tree basket and I did like a whole video on this on my Dollar Tree Instagram. Of me putting it together if you guys want to check that out it's just like a fun little clip um so i'll show you guys how i did the basket i really should have prepped ahead of time because i wanted to do something personalized with my little silhouette machine which i'll show you guys i've done that in the past but i'm like rushing today as always i really need to like get myself together but i'll show you the basket i did the basket um this this basket is actually from Dollar Tree and I love how wide it is and at first I was going to get her a bag and then I was like no like she won't be able to see anything and she's just going to throw it away so I was like let me put everything in a nice little basket. This is the perfect size for bridal showers or whatever else any sort of gift because it's wide. I figured she could reuse this under her sink or organizing instead of just throwing away a bag so I was like let me be resourceful and I guess reusable <laughs> so I loved that and then I just put tissue paper that I also got from Dollar Tree like I put it all in the bottom and kind of stuffed the front so it looked a little fancy um she had like salt shakers on her registry so I just got here I'll show you guys I got her these mason jar ones I mean I like them that's like my style but I don't know <laughs> hopefully she'll like them I got her these two towels these are from TJ Maxx um, she also had like a flower sifter on her registry, so I got that from TJ Maxx. Um, I got her, she had this like sink caddy. Whoop. She also had this like sink caddy on her registry, so I just got her that one from TJ Maxx. And this little name brand baking uh, cupcake set is from Dollar Tree. I thought that would be cute. The avocado tool, infamous. This thing is amazing. That's from Dollar Tree. Um, I got her these silicone tools. There's also like a knife in there. There's three of those, a spoon, a slotted turner. Hard is from Dollar Tree. And then I also got her this blanket, which is from Five Below. And I thought it would be cute for her couch. So there we go. Um, I feel like I've got a bunch of stuff. A little stuff makes for a really cute basket. So that's why I kind of like doing small things. You can stuff it all in here. And it kind of looks like a theme like for your kitchen or whatever. So there we go. I hope this gives you guys some inspo um, for bridal showers and baby showers. I love doing baskets like this. I actually remember Mary Kate made a basket for me for my bridal shower and I loved it. It was like cooking stuff. So I hope she likes this. Um, you can also put in here the mason jars from Dollar Tree. Those would be so cute. Or in a basket too, these like fancy mugs. Those are from Dollar Tree too. So my silhouette machine, which is how I make like personalized stuff. I love this thing. It's kind of dirty, sorry, but I love this thing. It's so much fun to make personalized gifts. <laughs> Oh, these are like all my favorite. Oh, is this the knife? No, it feels silly after the five knives. The infamous knife.
me and Gizzy work out together. So whenever I'm on this mat, he loves coming over here and sitting with me. So he sits right in the middle. Right, bud? So cute. So this is my favorite person to work out with on YouTube, Sydney Cummings. I've gone through a few different people trying to find my favorite person and she is my favorite. She's from North Carolina. She is so sweet. She's also super in shape as you can see. So she is awesome. She does such good workouts. They're not too hard, but they're not too easy. They're challenging and she always challenges me and I do so many of her workouts. Resistance band, arm, legs. If you guys are looking for someone amazing to work out with, Highly recommend checking out her channel. I use this eight pound dumbbell. I have these five pounders that I got from Target. I need to get 10 pounders because I feel like the fives, I'm kind of like, they're a little too light for me now. So I need to grab 10 pounds. Morning guys. We just finished a workout. When I say we, I mean me and my YouTube. <laughs> so I woke up and I had this lovely little situation right here um, every once in a while. I will get that pimple right there and I hate it. It's just so hideous and I personally, I don't know if this is just me, but I would rather have a red spot that I can cover with foundation concealer rather than a white head and then put foundation on it. I just can't walk around with a, the white head. Like I feel so weird. So I'm so bad with that. I try to be good and not pick, but like this one was just, mm. okay. So anyways, I'm gonna be like this. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So um, I woke up this morning and I'm trying to stay on top of doing my daily Bible reading. So right now I'm reading Hebrews with really good and um, it's so funny when I read um, all the verses that my mom used to like love. Like wow that was like one of my mom's favorite verses. So that's always just really cool and then I can you know apply it to my life today and um, just kind of like reflect on the verse. It's always so nice to do it in the morning. Sometimes I'll do it at night, but I prefer in the morning because it gets my day off on the right foot. And then I just feel like I have a good mindset and then praying. So just praying kind of sets my day off better and I feel just better equipped to make it through the day. And then I have like my verses in my head that I can use and apply in daily life. So that is just so awesome to me. And I really like to share that with you guys because my faith is so, so important to me and just like a top, top in my life. So I would feel terrible if I did not share with you guys one of the most important things in my life, which is Jesus. So that, um, and then I, so today is Friday and I wanted to film a video, but I feel so weird with this. So I don't know, cause it was supposed to be a foundation video. Um, I have to like start writing things down because I feel like everything's like in my head and I just like I'm so not good with writing things down But I feel like I will be so much more organized if I did that Avoiding washing my hair because I really don't want to so I'm gonna maybe do like braids or something I just had it in a bun yesterday and oh, I want to show you guys something else I found at Dollar Tree last night and I don't know when I'm gonna like get to show this in a haul so I figured I'd show it in a vlog I found these little teas for my nephew for Christmas. They're toddler tees. I think these are, are they Hanes? Oh, they're Gildan. Heavy cotton. So I got five tee for him. He's four years old, so I think these will fit. This is like giving me safari vibes, these two colors. I feel like Blake will look so cute in both these colors, especially the green. You guys have seen Blake before. He's my nephew. I've shown him in the past. So he is four now. Um, so yeah, I picked those up. So many good finds for Christmas at Dollar Tree. And I did a little skincare haul. So I picked up these new products and I am so excited about these, you guys. So this line is Beauty Guru and it's the sister brand to Aroma Guru. If you guys have the roll-ons, the peppermint, the muscle relax, there's the lavender oils, my stomach just growled <laughs> so I love those so when I saw these I was like oh my gosh so they're all natural so I used this one last night for the first time it's actually my bathroom the natural eyelash enhanced serum with castor oil this also has rosemary oil in it I currently use castor oil mostly every night for lash growth and there's like the creator it says she's a certified aromatherapist so it also comes with a mascara wand I prefer using it on my lash line rather than my lashes um, because castor oil is really heavy oil. These two I have not tried yet. I'm going to try these today. We have the Natural Bright Skin Serum with Rosehip Oil. And my skin really likes rosehip seed oil. So there's the ingredients here. Let me zoom in. I'm like having issues getting this to focus. There we go. Coconut oil, jojoba oil, 
Rosehip, Lang Lang, Car Lang Lang, Carrot Seed, Turmeric, Sandalwood, Geranium. This is the Natural Under Eye Serum with C. Buckthorn. My camera's like focusing on that girl's face. So it has a roll-on applicator and let's see. I like how they tell you what each is known for. So Rose Hip, Skin Brightening, Camellia Antioxidant, Sea Buckthorn Reviving, Coffee Skin Tightening, Lemon and Astringent. So we got this really cute new fountain for Oliver and Gizmo. It has like an LED light, it's adorable, and then when it's actually empty, it turns red, which is nice, and it has a little flower. So much smaller than our other fountain. The other thing was like a behemoth, and it took up so much space. So I loved this. It was like $16, $17. I'll link it if you guys are looking for a cat fountain, but... But Oliver is so mad. Okay, where is he? Can you see him? He's back there right now drinking out of a little silver bowl that I, whoa, zoomed in, that I put water in for him because he's been acting really strange. He was obsessed with that water fountain and ever since we switched it to this one and got rid of that one, he has been really upset with us. Like, and it's weird. He's been sitting in our sink, which he never does. So I'm like... I guess he wants water. I don't know. Like, he was just being really weird with water. And I knew he didn't like this fountain. So he has been sitting here drinking out of this little silver bowl. It's like the same one we use for their dry food for about two minutes now. So he must be so thirsty. I feel so bad. Like, he... <laughs> He must, he's been crying a little lately too, so he must be so thirsty because he would always drink from that fountain. I'll show you guys. Literally, he has been here for two minutes drinking out of this bowl. I'm going to have to refill it. I think he licked it bone dry. Oh my gosh, is there water in here still? Okay, no, just kidding. It's not bone dry. Now he's sticking his paw. Okay. This is why we got rid of these regular bowls for water. Might be the cutest thing I've ever seen. What are you doing? What are you guys doing? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at that face. Look at that face. Guess. Starting my Thanksgiving cooking, I'm making sweet potato uh, casserole with marshmallows. So I'm just mashing up the sweet potatoes right now. I actually got these in a can from Dollar Tree, and honestly, they look really good. <laughs> they look just like regular sweet potatoes. I mean, they are sweet potatoes, but like, I don't know, they look really good. So this is covered in plastic, but I made pumpkin bread that you can cut into bars with cream cheese frosting, and I added a little bit of maple to the cream cheese frosting. And oh my gosh, it looks so good. It actually like hardens on there, which is really nice. And then I made, I just found this recipe on Pinterest. And then I made, I'll show you guys, cookies. These are my favorite cookies in the entire world. Everyone who eats them is obsessed with them. They taste like literal cookie dough and I make them super soft. The key is not to leave them in long. We're gonna actually have ham instead of turkey because, I don't know, I like turkey but I like ham a little better. So let me know like what traditions you guys- <gasps> Bud! He wants attention! Okay, Bud, here. You wanna say hi to the peoples? Okay, Bud. Okay, he wants attention, my angel. Yes! You wanna say hi to everyone? You already did though, with that big cry. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. What happened? What happened, you wanna be the star? Everyone loves you. Thanksgiving tradition to watch March of the Wooden Soldiers. It's actually on Prime, which is really fun. I love this movie. I've been watching it since I was a little girl. Is how it came out. It looks like a hot mess, but hopefully it tastes good. This is the streusel topping and then those marshmallows. I just use those big ones and cut them up. Um, they're these. They're like giant roasters, but I just cut them. 
because I already had those from uh, Dollar Tree and I hadn't used them yet. So here he is. All right, you guys, here's my mac and cheese. I just totally made a mess, but <laughs> this is the breadcrumb. I did elbow mac and cheese, and now to now I have to pop it into the oven for like a half hour. But I hope it tastes good. I didn't have any milk or heavy cream, so I just used almond milk. So I feel like it's going to be a little sweet, but I still think it's going to be good. Happy December 1st, you guys. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it's December 1st. It is the month of Christmas. What is going on? I look crazy right now because I just woke up, got my NSYNC shirt on. Oh yeah. So I was just doing a little Instagram story on my Dollar Tree Instagram. Go follow me on there. I am much more active on there than my regular Instagram because my... Regular Instagram at Kim Nizzolo. I don't know what happened. Wait, you guys can't really see me. That's a little better. Um, Instagram like shadow banned me, which be it sounds so dramatic. Well, it is kind of dramatic. But what it is is no one sees your posts anymore. Even if you hashtag, you won't get any new followers. And I've just been stuck at the same number. 11.9, actually. It goes down. My numbers on Instagram for there don't go down. Don't go up. They go down, which is really weird. Um, so it's really hard to get new followers on there, but on my new Dollar Tree Instagram, I started, I've had it for maybe five, six months, and I've already surpassed my Kim Nizzolo Instagram, which I've had for years and years, so I'm like, dang, like, I would rather focus on something that's actually growing and doing well, and I actually have people watching my stories and liking my posts, like, on my Dollar Tree Instagram stories, I will have 2,000 people watching my stories, cut to by Kim Nizzolo Instagram, sometimes my stories will get 80 views. So it's like you feel like you're working so hard on something and if no one's seeing it, it's really frustrating. So that's why I've been focusing a lot more on my Dollar Tree Instagram because it's actually growing and I get so much more engagement on there. I have like a community of people on there and people really love those, those posts that I do. So I stocked up on two of the shelf stable almond milks, unsweetened. I hope you guys can find these. They are so good. They also have sweetened, but I like unsweetened because they don't add sugar. See? So you can add like your own stevia if you want to. And the stats are really good. Vitamin A has potassium, iron, calcium, vitamin D. It's only 25 calories. This is so, so good. So I hope you guys find this. This is how I make the um my own coffee creamers using this. So you can see they go for $2.99. Uh, any other store target Walmart and these are so good I like dipping these in the everything but the bagel uh, dip from Trader Joe's and or Aldi they both have it I got this glass bowl with lid from cooking concepts and this is actually new so this is like fancy you guys I love using glass because it's a lot safer than plastic. There's no chemicals in glass. You guys are still using just a regular sponge to clean your dishes like with your hand. You are not living, you guys. You need to get this. This is the brand I like actually better than the Dollar Tree one. This is Brillo Basics. So get this one instead. It's better quality than their brand one. And you put your soap in here. I just fill mine up with my Method Peppermint soap that I have right now. And you don't have to worry about touching the sponge or anything like that. It's you know, you can change these guys out too, which is great. And the soap just comes right out. It's so useful. And I get grossed out holding a sponge. So this is a game changer, you guys. They're Dollar Tree Jute for Lysol wipes. So it says it kills Salmonella. Um, I don't know if this kills the Rona, but it kills pneumonia, staph. I don't know what that is, but kills common household bacteria. Yes. Okay. So Love these for cleaning, like, the toilet um, on top of the kitchen counters. Oh, yeah, E. coli kills that, too. Um, lemon said it. These are great. They had an entire thing. I hope you guys can find these, too. Stock up if you do because y'all know things are going crazy. I actually got two things of paper towels last night, and that Dollar Tree is the only place I can find them, and I actually really like the Dollar Tree paper towels. Everywhere else is sold out. Acrylic containers which are so amazing. You can put so many things in here. You can put them in your Alex drawers. You can put them in your bathroom, kitchen, under the sink. They have like all little hair ties and clips in here, which I think is awesome. So I actually got three. I got one for me and then two to give out as gifts because who doesn't love acrylic organizers? Like this at the container store would be like five to $10. So a total steal. Perfect also for like little compacts, makeup. I love, love these show you guys 
how stinking perfect these fit into my drawers. So these are actually from Michael's, the shelf topper from Home Depot. But look how perfectly they lay in here. You see everything? Oh my gosh, I'm like so excited about this. So I saw this hack on TikTok where you can turn your TV into those like framed TVs where it looks like there's always a picture. So all she did was you go on YouTube, I have YouTube downloaded on my TV, and then you just type in Christmas screensavers or you can type in like snow. I just found this one and you just leave it on your TV like this and you have this really pretty kind of background going on. Our TV isn't straight right now. <laughs> It's like off to the side. Let me see if I can make it straight. So can you see how it's like kind of red on top? So you can switch it like if you have two, you can do red on top and green on the bottom for Christmas and it just looks really pretty. I have to tape mine though because it like fell down. Guys, so right now I am editing and Nick is of course at work right now. He'll probably come home in like an hour or two, maybe around like three o'clock. But um, it's 1.30 and I'm editing a huge Dollar Tree shop with me right now. And it's really quiet. So when I'm editing, so what I do is I put on a show to have in the background, especially these videos where I do voiceovers later on. I need to have like a show on and just to kind of like have something like peer out of the corner of my eye and watch while I'm editing these like voiceover videos because there's no sound, there's nothing I have to listen to. So I'm watching 90210, Beverly Hills, like the old one, which is like one of my favorite shows in the entire world. This is a day in my life, guys. Um, this is just all my clips here, right there. Those are all the clips. I have a hundred clips, no joke, a hundred clips that I'm editing. So you can see it's gonna be a really long video. I'm already up to 18 minutes and I still have all these clips. So I'm out here right now <laughs> by this little beach area shooting a little uh, camp this like booch pop stuff and it's a little cold but I'm gonna try and take a picture here and then go do whatever I have to do but this is what you do when you're a blogger you go to random places in the middle of the day take pictures I got my tripod and I'm just gonna snap away so let's try and do this campaign hey guys it is Saturday um, I'm about to work out if you can't tell I'm in my like workout gear so yesterday was Friday and it was the start of candle day. I was planning on going because I do, well I did last year and the year before. And last year I went maybe around like 11 a.m. and no line, I went right in. And I think obviously because of this year with everything going on, they're only allowing a certain number of people in the store. So it's making the lines crazy. So I guess I wasn't expecting it because I was like, oh, it's a Friday. It's the afternoon, like no one's, everyone's gonna be working, at least at home working or whatever. The line was insane, you guys. And this is not the mall, it was just like a freestanding store. And I, it was funny because I walked up to it and I'm like, oh, no, it's here. And then I like saw the line, 180 and turned around and went back to my car. I was like, no. And it was raining and cold. I was like, this is not worth it for me. Um, I still have candles from last year that I haven't used yet. And I got those two candles from Walmart and I love the Walmart candles. They look just like the Bath and Body Works ones and they smell amazing. The pumpkin waffles one is literally the same as Bath and Body Works. So I'm like, I am not waiting on this line. What I'm just gonna honestly end up doing is going to like the after sale, the 75% off sale they do in January. Um, because I know today's Saturday and I'm not even gonna attempt to do a weekend. If Friday was crazy, Saturday and Sunday are gonna be crazy at Bath and Body Works too. And God bless all the workers. They must be so tired. Um, so yeah, um, that's what happened with that. And I went to um, Target, which is attached to a mall. And I saw someone carrying a Bath and Body Works bag and I was like, hey, how's the line? And they're like, oh my gosh, it's so long. So I was like, wow, this is crazy this year. And they're sold out online, which I'm surprised they weren't like prepared for, I guess, the rush of everyone buying all these candles because everyone's buying a lot of stuff this year. I feel like more than ever, people are like buying like crazy. Um, so yeah, so that's that. I wanted to show you guys I was filming the other day and I found these at Marshalls. They're the hip booty bands. So I really like these because they're the fabric, but they're soft. Okay, so I got one of these. I got one from, this is Nicole Miller brand, Nicole Miller Sport, and it's thick. But you guys, this thing, it is too strong. You cannot do anything with this. Like, I know they're supposed to be resistance bands, but I need a little bit of give. Like, I need to be able to move my legs. 
I don't like this one. Um, Nick has been using it for his like arms and stuff, but I'm like, I can't use this thing. I, I want to be able to move and have not too much resistance. So I wouldn't recommend the Nicole Miller one. These seems really soft. This is from Balance Collection. So I'm gonna try these today when I work out because I'm doing legs today. And I was, these were $9.99. So let's see, I really love doing resistance leg bands. If you don't have weights, these are a great option. And I do have rubber ones, which I was using the other day, but I was like, you know what? These seem so nice. Oh yeah, these are so much nicer. See, they have more of a give. This one, like, there's nothing. It's too heavy. This one I think is medium. Or is it? It's light and medium. Let's see. Okay, the pink is light. The blue is medium. So I'm going to try these out and do a little workout and see how that all goes. So let's try those out and then I'm gonna eat and stuff. And I've just been cleaning all morning, organizing. Um, I've been like gathering all my like Christmas presents because I feel like I have stuff everywhere, like just everywhere. So I was like organizing things and I'm like, wow, I forgot I bought that. Cause I've been shopping um, since like October. If I saw something at Dollar Tree that was cute or a name brand, I'd pick it up and put it away. So I'm like pulling everything out now and seeing what I have. 